Hi guys, welcome back. And today what we're doing is we're taking our knowledge of the seventh chord. So as well as the diminished sevenths and the minor seven flat five that we've been looking at in this course, in the previous course we also looked at major seven, minor seven, and dominant seventh chords. Now with those four different types of chords, the three ones and then the minor seven flat five being the diminished we're gonna use, that gives us the knowledge that we need to create the harmonized scale, the harmonized key using seventh chords, okay? So first of all, the first thing I'll say is if you haven't looked at the essentials course for harmonizing the key, then please go ahead and do that. That's absolutely crucial in order to get this bit right because I'm gonna be kind of whizzing through this bit because I'll assume you already know how to just basically harmonize a key. Okay, so the link will be underneath the video as to how to get back to that and go through that. Now, let's have a, a little look at um, how to do this with seventh chords. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is setting up the basic harmonized scale, the major, the minor, and the diminished, okay? So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using the key of C major at this point. So just gonna quickly write out the C major scale. So let's just write above here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then back to eight or, or one, okay? Um, and then we're gonna write out C major. So again, C major, very easy, no sharps or flats, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C, okay? And that gives us our C major scale. Now then, if you remember, the purpose of harmonizing is to create a set of chords that will all work together and will allow someone to play a certain scale over the top, okay? So, for example, with C major, if we use only these seven notes, okay, to create chords on each degree, we know that we can, when we come to play and kind of practice as a band or play as an ensemble, we know that we can use the notes of the C major scale to create melodies and to start writing songs because all the chords use the notes from the C major scale, okay? So that's the purpose of harmonizing your scale. Now, essentially what we had to do way back when, and I'm not gonna go through it in detail because it's already been gone through in the essentials courses, but what we had to do was to decide, okay, well, we're gonna use triads for each one of these chords. So if I use the C, an E, and a G, what chord is this? That's a C major chord. When it came to the D, if I use a D, an F, and an A, i.e. the first, third, and fifth from D, what chord is that? And that happened to be a minor chord. That was the process we went through, but what we ended up with was this very cool little formula. We ended up with the fact that the one chord is always major, the second chord is always minor, the third chord is always minor, then we had major on the four, major on the five, then we had minor, on the six, diminished on the seven, and then back to major again, okay? So, that's our harmonized key of C major. That left us in a really cool position where we said, right now, if I play, if I wanna put some chords together in the key of C major, I can play an F major, a G major, an A minor, a D minor, E minor, in any order, at any time, and it would all sound rather wonderful and specifically for the guy soloing over you, he could just use the C major scale or the C major pentatonic or something because we know all the notes will fit, okay? Simple as that. Now, our task, okay, is to now harmonize this in sevenths. So using our major sevenths, minor sevenths, dominant sevenths, okay? And the diminished as well. So first task, okay? I wanna pause here because I want you guys to refresh yourself here. So I want you guys to just write this out and if it doesn't make any sense to you, I need you to go back to the other video linked in the description to make sure that this does make sense. In the next video, we'll do the harmonizing with sevens.